Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And there is a big announcement for you guys. I'm starting a one-on-one -on -one session from coming November 1st. So if you want to join the class, uh, please send me an email or DM me on my Instagram. And also if you want to make a poster for your school team or for your kids or even for yourself, I'm there for you guys. So again, send me an email or send a text to me. And the most important part is if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And another thing is I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thank you. So here we're in Photoshop. So first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, press Ctrl N and i will just go for 8 over 6 and let's make the resolution as 300 and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create and now let's drag and drop this menu image right over here Control t let's make it a little smaller yep so around this size and then let's keep it maybe right over here and let's drag and drop uh let's see let's drag and drop this image right over here let's convert it that is smart object Control t let's make it bigger maybe right around right around this size all right and now let's make a copy of this layer Control J let's keep it on the top and let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here and let's keep this inside a group so select this layer Control G water top and let's make a layer max for the group and let's go to the brush and using a soft brush, let's get rid of these parts from here. Yep, something like that. All right. Now let's uh, drag and drop this image right over here. And control. Let's convert it as smart object. Control T. Let's make it smaller. Let's keep it maybe right over here and control T. Let's do a warp. And now let's create a layer max. And let's go to the brush and let's get rid of these hard edges right over here. And let's uh, drop down the opacity just a little touch, maybe somewhere around here. And we're gonna tweak this later anyway so let's drag and drop another image uh, let's say this one and let's keep it right over here and let's keep this all the way to the bottom and for this one let's drop down the opacity just a little touch somewhere around here and control let's convert it as smart object and control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it maybe right over here yeah and let's do a little warp yep yeah, something like so all right now let's drag and drop this another image cloud image right over here and let's keep this all the way to the top and let's drop down the opacity and let's create a layer max go to the brush and let's erase those parts and let's drop down the opacity just, just like so Control T. Yeah, let's keep it maybe, maybe right over here now let's add a hue and saturation right over here and let's drop down the saturation maybe 
right around here and same thing for these layers too so add a hue and saturation and let's drop down the saturation just like so yep something like that and now let's add a new layer and go to the brush and I'm going to use my water splashes brushes and if you want to get this brush please check out the description as well so let's go for let's go for this one and let's change the color to pure white and let's add a splash right over here and maybe one right around here let's go to the eraser tab and let's erase those parts just like that and let's add a one more layer and go to the brush again and let's add another splash maybe right around here and maybe one right over here let's create one more layer and maybe one right over here Control T let's do a kind of little adjustments for the background yep something like that and let's select this layer go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's drop down the highlights increase the shadow increase the clarity increase the texture and then increase the noise reduction color noise reduction too and from here let's drop down for orange and let's drop down the yellows just like that and let's click on ok so go over here click on color lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use my drone lot so select this lot and click on load so this is what we have now let's add a new solid and let's give it a kind of darker maybe kind of darker this color and let's drop down the opacity just like that yep something like that and same goes for this one too let's drop down the opacity maybe right around here let's increase just a little touch um, right and for the hue and saturation let's drop down the saturation just a little touch yep and for the background let's make it more desaturated yep somewhere around here around here and now let's add a new layer go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray let's make it soft light and let's do some doesn't burn so go for a dust tool and let's add kind of does right over here and let's add some burn on the bottom add some on top yep and you know what let's make more let's add some does right over here too all right you know what like for the background let's make it a little blur so go to the filter let's go to the blur and let's add Gaussian blur maybe something like that and let's merge all this layer so Control shift alt and e and let's go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter again and let's drop down the highlights Let's increase the shadows and 
let's go right over here increase the noise reduction increase the color noise reduction let's increase the sharpening just a little touch and from here let's increase the clarity and let's increase the texture yep somewhere around here and from here let's add some green and let's add some vignetting just like that and let's click on ok so now let's add some text so let's go over here And now let's add a final color balance so from here let's increase the red just like so and let's increase the green maybe right around here And one more thing let's go over here let's go to the brush and let's go for a soft brush and let's increase it to this soft light and let's drop down the opacity So that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and I hope you guys love this tutorial and you guys learned something new from this tutorial too. So see you guys in the next video. Till then you guys have fun. Bye bye.